Geek with a Tractor here. Most of my videos are done in the great outdoors, so the lighting usually isn't that big of a deal. Sometimes I come inside, maybe I'm doing some prep work or doing a geek out like I'm doing right now, and the lighting usually is is not it's not consistent. I haven't had anything that really is uh, makes the lighting good in situations. Right now, it's in the morning. I've got this big bay window with the light shining in, so you probably are getting some decent lighting now. But uh, in order to bring up the production value of some of the YouTube videos, except especially some of these indoor <laughs> geek outs that I do, uh, I came across this flash cell and grabbed this little light here. And I just wanna do a quick little unboxing. Maybe you're new to YouTube, maybe you're new to doing TikToks or whatever. And uh, you know, one thing that I've learned about doing this over the past year, and being that my, my brother is in, in the, uh, the film industry as well, um, is lighting is important. So I'm gonna do this real quick. This is the Aduro Ustream desktop. It's kind of an all-in-one package here. We've got the little tripod here. You notice it has the little adjustable phone holder there with the uh, rubberized grip, 360-degree uh, rotating gooseneck, so you always have the perfect angle. Adjustable light with dimmable LED bulbs uh, will meet your needs for lighting in different conditions. Uh, yeah, sometimes uh, I've noticed, <laughs> sometimes I'll watch a YouTuber or even on TikTok, you know, people are doing maybe, uh, you know, a style video where they're talking and I see these bright <laughs> rings in their eyes. And I always said, you know, I don't think I'd ever get one of these ring lights. Um, but I think what a lot of it has to do is how close it is and how intense the light is. I don't know. We're going to experiment and play with it a little bit. So let me get started here. Okay, so there is the light. Nice, and we got, uh, of course, our little instruction manual here. It looks like just a few diagrams on how to set things up. Uh, need assistance, customer support information there. And it looks like we have our uh, adjustable cord here. Now it's interesting, it's got a USB um, a tip here. Let's go and get the light out. All right, so it's 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 actually um, very light here. It's not like super heavy, and it's made of a, a nice uh, plastic casing here, and it's not flimsy. I mean, it's really sturdy. Sometimes you always get nervous. Sometimes with flash shells, you know, they're trying to get rid of something quickly. Sometimes you get good stuff. Sometimes you don't. Uh, okay, so we have here the uh, adjustments. Here I can adjust the light intensity. And I don't know what that middle button is. Let's see, there's a middle button. Okay, so brightness up, brightness down, on and off. And the middle button is a warm and cool light. Oh, huh. that's cool. Or hot, whatever, anyway, bad, bad dad joke. Okay, so we got a little tripod and wow, this is actually very uh, nice. This is uh, made of uh, metal. Very solid. Um, <laughs> again, quality as far as the, the the product itself, it's not plastic. I've gotten tripods in the past for little, you know, uh, stands like this, and they're plastic, and they just they just don't have that sense of quality. But this really has a has a feel of quality and sturdiness. Um, you've got these uh, little universal joints in there, so you can you know move it almost any any direction that you you need to, it is uh, it is does have a little kind of back and forth here, so there's not too much left and right going on, but it is probably gonna serve, meet the need. All right, and this, this looks like the, uh, of course this is the little grip that goes around the phone, but I'm wondering, wow, that actually does not come out very far. <laughs> I've got the iPhone 11 Pro, I'm just wondering if that would, actually grip my iPhone 11 Pro with the case on it. Um, I guess we're going to find out here shortly. So it looks like we got here a bendable arm 
we could put it in multiple scenarios if if hopefully the phone the phone will will uh fit inside of the little gr hand grip there and i'm wondering if this can actually come off if we can replace this if we need to yeah it does come off but may not need to i don't know we'll see at any rate whether i use this or not um we've got the light here so um this here screws in and what else do we have here we have a few other uh, parts here looks like oh we have a another universal joint here that i'm guessing oh yeah goes on here there we go let me, let me tighten this up so it's not going around everywhere okay so you screw this on here pretty simple pretty straightforward and then screw the light on here oh, yep there we go let's do it this way there we go oh because we can now twist it up here there we go all right so there you have it so one thing that i uh noticed here in the parts it just has a usb adapter and i'm guessing they assume since you have a phone you're going to have the necessary parts to go from usb to power you can also plug it into your laptop you know and, and go direct there and I, I guess it's all power rated for those devices so i just grabbed one of my uh, iphone bricks here i'm going to plug that in and get that going here in just a moment I'm going to test the phone out um, that and see if this will fit in here and the next image you will see will probably be me with this new light turned on and should be a whole different experience ta-da <laughs> uh, I have natural light coming in like from the bay window but I can tell you right now even though that natural light um, is good there is definitely a major major difference by turning this on so right now i'm on the cool light setting at the highest point yeah at the highest point got my little clicker here that i'm adjusting so i'm going to go down to the lowest point here um, before i do that though let me just switch off now one thing you'll notice notice the shadow on, under my hat rim here you see how that changes i mean it just totally goes dark i mean makes a makes quite the difference as far as the the you know the lighting and that kind of thing so let me turn it back on back off back on yeah so <laughs> my uh indoor videos are going to definitely have much better lighting from here on going uh, here on forward so excited about that um let me switch over this is the cool light let's go to the warm light okay so that that warms things up a little bit here back to the cool light or no wait that's even another warm light setting all right, so there's a in between. There's three different settings. There's a cool light. Hmm, I have to look at. Anyways, that's like warm, like hot. Okay, so hot light, cool light, in between, <laughs> warm. So hot, cold. We're going to cold, warm, and hot. Okay, so there's hot, cold, and warm. All right, so there's three different settings. Which one do you guys like best? I don't know. In this particular setting, this is kind of nice. It's like in between. And then uh, I can also take it down a little bit. So let me go back to cool. All right, so I'm on cool. And let's take it down. I can actually take it down a little bit to where it's not blowing out my face here. I get a little bit harder shadow here under the hat rim. And that's actually pretty nice there. Yeah, that, that's really nice. I mean, even at, at full, at, at the highest level here, 
Oh, I'm hitting the table, so I'm sorry if it's bouncing. At the highest level, the, I mean, this looks really pretty good. Um, I was watching a TikTok of a guy the other day, and he, had, I think he, he must have had a, a warm light on, and everything was dark in the background. And he had like a, a, a little lamp on in the background that was kind of blurred out, so he had, you know, the focus on and depth, depth perception going on, and he was just talking, and it just, and he was talking about some really important things, and I was just like, man, that is so quality. Any more of my indoor videos? Uh, guys that we do with geek outs or anything as a matter of fact i'm getting ready to do a video um, i'm prepping a bunch of seed potatoes so i'm going to try this out on on that and uh, hopefully the the lighting is going to be even much better much better production value with on uh, the geek with a tractor channel here so hey thanks for following like and subscribe be sure to check out this uh adoro Ustream desktop. It's like the all-in-one sit set up here, and it works perfectly fine on my 11 I, uh, iPhone 11 Pro. Um, if you have a Pro Max, it may be a little bit tight. You might have to take the case off, but this works really, really well with the iPhone 11 Pro size. It's got the stand, it's got the plug, and it's got this mul multiple adjustments. And what's really cool is I can, as you saw earlier in the unboxing, the it's got the universal joint, so it, it can move in multiple directions and in multiple scenarios. So this is the first time using it. Um, and I look forward to testing it out in many different ways in more videos to come. So geek with the tractor, keep tracking.